Welcome to Google Developers Weekly for November 11th, 2013. I'm Lewis Gray, and this is our highlight reel of what's happening in the world of Google Developers on the set and off. We like to start off each week with insight from our Wise Root Access team. This week, Don Dodge takes on the tough question of how you can negotiate with potential investors and how you can mitigate risk when bringing on co-founders as you get started. And is it more likely for a startup to succeed if the founders have a proven track record? What do you do if you find another startup with a very similar idea? Watch as Don tackles these questions in our second episode of Root Access for the week. And from New York, resident player and YouTube player API expert Ikai Lan shows us how he uses JS Fiddle, an online editor for rapid JavaScript iteration in collaboration with the player API. Going further east across the Atlantic Ocean, we find ourselves in Paris for two events focused on the cloud. First, William Van Benepe delivers an overview of Google Cloud Platform on Francais. Then Ludo Campenois catches up the French-speaking developers among us on the latest news around Google App Engine. Back here in Mountain View, Google Analytics analyzer Pete Frazella provided an overview to the latest changes and new features available on the GA platform. He walks us through version 2 of the Dimensions and Metrics tool, changes in the core reporting API, and more. In Android land, the launch of Android 4.4 KitKat has also brought us a new array of dev bytes. Check out developers.google.com slash live slash Android to indulge your developer sweet tooth on closed captioning, transitions, immersive mode, and getting up to speed on the new storage access framework. Now that I've got KitKat on my Nexus 5, there's no other phone that I want to use. It's great stuff. And if you want your pages to render faster without having to do any work yourself, and who doesn't? You can find the latest news on PageSpeed, our tools for measuring and optimizing your site in a blog post from Thursday. And sticking with PageSpeed, there's now an easier way for Google Analytics users to see what's happening with PageSpeed. You can now see integrated PageSpeed scores and suggestions right in Analytics, where you probably spend a lot of time anyway. And finally, last week saw the launch of a new version of the Google Mobile Ads SDK for iOS. There are plenty of juicy new features, including support for 64-bit architectures, greatly reduced library size, and the inevitable bug fixes. And to make sure you never miss any bug fixes or a thing from the world of Google Developers, subscribe to Google Developers on YouTube and check out the GDL schedule at developers.google.com live. I'm Lewis Gray, and I'll see you in the studio.